Today, I'll be walking you through how you can leverage Jitterbit to power an online donation experience. Specifically, this solution demonstrates connections between a mobile app or web form, Salesforce, and the Plevo SMS API. The app seen in this demo was developed using a third-party low-code development platform called Appery.io, but it's really just intended to serve as a visual representation of any existing site or app in use by your organization today. Jitterbit can connect to any system or app, provided it offers connectivity via common standards such as RESTful APIs, SOAP-based web services, direct database connectivity via JDBC or ODBC drivers, and many more. On the left side of the screen, you can see the app running on an iPhone, and on the right, a browser window with Salesforce and Jitterbit Cloud Studio, each in their own tabs. In this hypothetical scenario, a prospective donor could give online using the web form providing, for example, information about themselves and their de desired donation amount. Upon submission, they receive an SMS acknowledging their donation submission and letting them know they'll receive further notification regarding the status of their donation. Switching over to Salesforce, if we refresh our accounts list, we'll see we have a new account object for Johnny Generous, as well as a corresponding donation opportunity with the name dynamically assigned using information from the web form. Here we'll simulate donation transaction processing by changing the opportunity stage from prospecting to closed one. And you'll notice that the donor has received another SMS notification, once again, thanking them for their donation and communicating that the donation has been successfully processed. So now that you've seen it in action, let's take a look at the project in Jitterbit. Here you can see the, the various workflows, operations, and component activities which make up this project. Here in our nonprofit donations workflow, you can see that we start by receiving the payload from the web form and we upsert it into an account in Salesforce. From there, we call a series of shared operations, one of which handles inserting opportunities to Salesforce. Once that operation completes successfully, it calls the Plevo SMS operation, which sends the notification to the end user. In a point of note, this Plevo connector was built using the Cloud Studio Connector Builder, which enables you to take any well-documented API and turn it into a reusable connector for use across all of your Cloud Studio projects. I hope this video has helped you get a better idea of how Jitterbit Harmony might help enable your institution to drive more interactive digital experiences for your donors, volunteers, and staff. Thanks for watching.